Hi guys and welcome. So today I have a, a fun little mini album to share with you. I'm also going to um, show you how to turn this into an embellishment book. So this is a little lemon mini album that I have created using the Coco and Reno die set for this month. This is what that looks like. Let me show you the die. So I was so inspired by Paper Sweets. She created a, a watermelon mini album. And I thought it was so cute and I had seen a Kate Spade purse that looks like this. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna try to create a lemon mini album. So the fun part about this is that you can turn it into a shaker. It's called the Half Circle Mini Album Die Set. And it comes with these two pieces right here that you can use as um, pages. You can use this as a layering piece. You can use it to create a shaker super cute and then it comes with the pieces that you need to create the spine so you get this die right here you get this die right here um and then you get these little um smaller dies and these you can use to embellish your mini album so they're super cute i love the little polaroid this little arrow is so sweet um, and so I shared what these look like in a previous video when you cut them out. So today we're just going to put this mini album together and I'm going to show you how to use this smaller piece to create the lemon slices or wedges. Okay, so these are the pieces I've cut out. Um, let me grab all my pieces. So I cut out one piece that looks like this for the spine. I cut out two of the larger half circles for the front and back covers. And this, those are going to um, adhere to these little tabs right here. I'm going to fold on that so you can get a better look of what that actually looks like. And so these. Uh, front and back covers are just gonna um, go on to those little tabs and that's gonna create your cover your mini album cover I just think this is so cute so I made this using the splendid paper collection and I want to show you how I created before we go on I want to show you how I created these um, little wedges so this is going to be my orange i cut out one of the smaller half circles and i just folded it in half just like that burnish that and then i folded it one more time And it doesn't have to be straight but you do want to get it as close to that little point as possible so this is what you end up with right here and when you open it up you will have these lines and you are going to cut those out let me move this over here you're gonna cut right on those score marks or those fold lines. So just like that. Line that up. Just like that. So that is gonna create your wedges and then you would just Remember to keep them in order and let me turn this this way. And you would just place them on here according to how you cut them. Um, just like that, right? So it's super easy to create these. Let me adhere this. I did some stitching on these and 
I just stitched all the little wedges and it just gives it a really cute look. So I added some double-sided tape to the back of this so that it could be faster. <laughs> and now I can't remove it. And I'm just gonna line it up with the edge of my spine. And adhere that to this side. I'm gonna do the same on this one. really simple to put together. You'll do the same on this side. You'll just line these up as best you can. And that is your front and back cover. Now we're gonna go inside and cover up all these pieces. So I've cut out this paper right here. I think it's perfect for this. And I am missing my spine. Let me grab my spine really quickly. Okay, so I've got my other pieces to cover this up. And I'm gonna fold these in the opposite direction. And I'm just gonna add some liquid glue to this. And sandwich this right in the center, lining it up as best as possible. good thing about using liquid glue is that you have time to move things around. So now this one is going to go on this side. Again, I'm just going to add a bead of glue to the edge. And some to the center and line that up. So once you cut all these pieces out, um, they are really fast to put together. You just wanna make sure to line them up properly. You don't wanna see any white pieces. I did some stitching on all of mine, so that makes it bulge a little bit. Just make sure to press down if you're gonna do stitching on it, just to press down with a lot of pressure to get that adhered. And then we'll do this side and our book cover will be done. And um, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but this one I'm gonna turn into an embellishment book, not so much a mini album. So I am just gonna add two pages to this one because I want to have room to add some bulky embellishments like maybe some bows um, and some rosettes. So again, I'm just applying pressure to make sure that that those pieces that are stitched stick together. And we are done with our cover and it is so cute. Isn't this so adorable? Um, I just really love how this came out. I really, really like all these little pieces. So this one has four pages and this embellishment book is just gonna have two. So what we are going to do is, this is the piece that cuts out to adhere your pages, your album pages. I'm just gonna use two. I'm gonna do this one. 
and just add some glue to this. And I know that this piece goes down because these are um, mitered so that you can stick your pages onto them. And I'm just gonna line this up with the edge of my book. Just like that. So I'll have one page right here. And then I have this one. I'll fold that up right on those score marks that my die cuts out on. And I think I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add my glue to this piece. And I'm gonna line it up just like I did the other one against these score lines right here. So we've got our book cover and we have our little hinges to attach our pages. I'm sorry my phone keeps adjusting. I'm not sure why it's been doing that. I will have to look into that and fix that. But for now, <laughs> let's just go with it. And then I cut four pieces to create my two pages. So a front a and a back. I'm going to add this one first. So I'm just going to add some glue to this bottom piece and adhere it to my hinge making sure to line that up as best as possible. That looks good. Okay. Then I'm gonna add some glue to this side. And do the same to this page. lining that up I just think these are so cute and my next page I will add this one just add some glue to the bottom adhere it to this hinge make sure to line these pages up as best as possible. Yeah, just like that. Add some glue to this side. So the part that takes the longest is the um, stitching for sure and the embellishing. So we have adhered our little book. This is our little album. It's got two pages. This one is going to be a little embellishment book, so I did want to leave a little gap of room to add some embellishments in here. Um, unlike this one, this one I added four pages to. So since I'm just going to be adding photos, you know, it's not necessary to have too much room between pages. Um, and I wanted to share with you one more thing. This strap right here, let me give you the measurements for it. So this I just cut out of a scrap piece of paper. Um, stick that on there. And it measures seven eighths by six and one fourth. So seven eighths by six and one fourth. And what I would do is score it at the half inch mark on both ends, the half inch on both ends and although I'm not gonna add um, 
I don't think I'm going to add the strap to this one. Well, maybe I will. Yeah, because it does look really cute, right, you guys? <laughs> okay, maybe I will. Um, let me get some hot glue to add this on here. You guys, look how cute this is. So I went ahead and at that half inch mark, I folded up on that half inch mark and then just adhered it all the way to the edge of my book or of my spine and that created my little um, handle. Isn't it so cute? I think it's so cute. So I am gonna go ahead and finish embellishing this one. I hope that this inspired you um, to get crafty today and make sure to check out this die set. It is adorable, you guys. And also, I will have um, paper sweets um, in the description box linked and Coco and Reno. So thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.